crossed my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now, I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hey Capricorn, welcome to your November 2018 reading. I've got the good old devil card shuffled and ready to symbolize Capricorn energy. Hmm, Capricorn. I do want to mention that in my last video that I recorded for the new moon in Scorpio, if you guys have not watched the Capricorn message for the new moon, you need to go watch it because I feel like it it really portrayed the energy that Capricorn has in November moving into December, which will be your guys' month, right? At the end of December, that's when the cap's about to roll in, pop, pop. <laughs> and you know you got you guys have Saturn in your sign still. Oh Capricorn, there it goes. I was wondering, da 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 da. What do I have to talk to Capricorn about? And then boom, it hits me. The South Node. I'm not sure if all of you guys have heard about the South Node yet, but the South Node has just shifted into Capricorn, and that is what explained that message that I had for Capricorn and the new moon. It was a message of seriousness. You know, it was like no more games kind of energy. Like you guys are really, really stepping into um, an even more seriousness than before. I mean, Capricorn is already the most serious sign. You know, you guys are the cardinal fire, uh, the cardinal earth sign. So you mean business. You're ruled by Saturn, one of the most intimidating planets which is in your sign at home so you know the south node in capricorn it's going to be an interesting 19 months and i'm not going to talk too much about that guys because i want to save it for my north node and south node videos so just so you know the north node is in cancer and the south node is in capricorn so I feel like this is going to be a lot of uh, releasing for us guys. And I say us because my first house is Capricorn. So this is my um, everything to do with who I am and myself, you know. So me and you guys have that in common. And then my seventh house is, is Cancer. So this is like, it's going to bring in a lot of interesting karmic relationships, I feel. So yeah, guys, uh, you might want to do your own research on the South Node. Because for the next year and a half the nodes are going to be in you and cancer south node north node and this is all about karma and it's all about destiny which you know guys capricorn is no stranger to karma because you guys are ruled by the lord of karma so what is a node going to do you know i mean it is going to change our lives it is going to bound it's going to bind us to certain situations and experiences but i don't feel like we're going to handle it you know, just like Aquarius. Aquarius probably understood the South Node a little bit more because Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn. So Aquarius and Capricorn just kind of understand karma. You know, um, I'm not sure how Sagittarius is going to handle the South Node um, in, a, in a couple years. But, you know, just do your own research and um, maybe just keep an eye out for my, my video because I am going to be coming out with a um, South Node and Capricorn video for all the signs, okay? So I've got the Devil card here and I've shuffled. I just kind of, I want to see the card right underneath us. Ooh, that's interesting. You have the Magician card, Capricorn. Now, I recorded the Scorpio video a couple hours ago and Scorpio also had the Magician underneath them. So you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you are really, really using this energy um, in November to also be a ma the master magician. Because now we have the magician and the devil. So the magician is right behind you guys this month. So lots of manifestation. Um, I'm really feeling the need to bring up the fact that you have all the tools that you need to move forward, Capricorn. Because the magician is all about, you know, having all the tools. The cup, the pinnacle, the sword, the wand. So you've got all the elements on your side and maybe you're doing some, this is another black magic indication, the devil and the magician. <laughs> I mean, what kind of magic would the devil do? And you guys know me, um, I, I definitely see the devil as a different 
kind of force. I don't think the devil is in the ground in a fiery realm that people go to if they're bad or gay. No. I think the devil... I see the devil as more of a subconscious force that is in each and every one of us. I think the devil is a scapegoat that people blame a lot of their problems on. Um, you know, like, oh, the devil's trying me today. Like, what? You know, I don't really, really see why people use that as an excuse. But um, when I talk to Capricorns, since you guys are the devil card, I often, you know, get talking about stuff like that. Um... You know, and I think it's because of my Capricorn rising. But yeah, what what kind of magic would the devil do? What would the devil do? Instead of what would Jesus do? What would the devil do? Now, some of you guys are are gonna feel be a little weirded out by that message, probably. But I have this theory that Jesus and the devil are were the same person, except um, there's been these two stories now, where one one side of the story is a man died on the cross for human beings and the other side of the story is apparently an energy that wouldn't bow to humans right so it depends I feel like the devil is kind of um, a dark subconscious force that that we blame our problems on right in God or light whatever is is a loving vibration but the devil is misunderstood nonetheless, and some of these stories have been really, really strayed. So, either way, Capricorn, this devil card is you right now, okay? And um, it's your energy, and it represents you in November. So, without getting all religious and, and getting all deep and serious with you guys, I just want you to know that there is something very magical for you. In November, you guys, just like Scorpio, have the magician right behind you. So there's some kind of magical entity. You guys are manifesting something, you know, but the thing with the magician is that you just have to know and believe that you have all the tools you need necessary to create something magical. But I am hearing that. What kind of devil, what kind of magic will the devil do? So there could be some black occult magic for some of you guys. Um, and then right behind the magician is the five of cups. So there could be something that you're regretting, Capricorn. Um, there could even be some kind of, um, maybe you're trying to manifest something from, from the past. Maybe you're trying to manifest something back from your past. Maybe for some of you, it's a relationship that you still, you know, that that's still an opportunity here. This Two of Cups, it's, it's still something. Seeing the, the glass half full instead of half empty. Now, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. You know, this is uh, also another sign ruled by Saturn. So you could be regretting some kind of wish. Maybe you had some kind of wish in the past because the star card is also a wish. Um, if you're not dealing with an Aquarius. Now, I do see the page of swords. So this could definitely be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or maybe there's some kind of communication coming in. Maybe there's some kind of spying energy from an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo that's coming in pretty quickly. Some kind of message here. But, yeah, there's something about a wish from the past. Now, there might have been a loss. Like, you may have felt like there was a wish that went ungranted. And so, since Capricorn wished on a star, and all it led to them was regret, maybe you're taking matters into your own hands and just manifesting it on your own. That's kind of what the devil did. You know, some of the stories about the devil, it, it, you know, he went and just, he wanted to rule his own, you know, he wanted to rule his own self. You know, he manifested what he wanted through power. So there's a little bit of a cringe energy here, Capricorn, talking about some of these, some things that may, may be a little bit abstract. But either way, you have a very, very powerful energy right behind you in November. So just know throughout November, you have the ability to manifest whatever you want, whatever you want. So let's, let's get to the real message here. Now that we've discussed a little bit of what's behind you in November. So this is Capricorn's message for November. Nine of Swords coming out in the, at the uh, beginning of the reading. First card out is the Nine of Swords. So uh, mental anxiety. Some of you guys, uh, this could be that South Node energy, you know. I know I felt that South Node as soon as that energy shifted. So this is like staying up late at night, 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, having some mental anxiety about something, um, maybe even some nightmares. For some of you, it, it can involve either a Gemini or a Virgo, 
which I, I should have mentioned with that magician because the magician is Mercury and I should have mentioned that to Scorpio too that Mercury that's the card of Mercury so your thoughts you know manifesting certain things through your thoughts maybe even some communication Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo so it could definitely be a Gemini or a Virgo um, and we have the hermit card right here um, at the bottom of the deck for the nine of swords so either some of you guys have a Virgo who's linked to this anxiety or this uh, you know nightmare lack of sleep at night or the hermit card is an isolation card it's someone who's spending a lot of time in their solitude on their own so you guys could be dealing with this mental anxiety all on your own maybe some of this anxiety is caused by you know feeling like everything's just on you I think Capricorn is very isolated very isolated in November because of the south node as well and yeah right <laughs> Right underneath the Hermit card is the Lovers. So Gemini, Virgo, this is Mercury. That's that Magician again. So there could be, um, maybe you guys are feeling isolated in your relationships. Some of you guys are dealing with long distance relationships. Because the Lovers is sometimes a decision between two people. Sometimes it's a third party. But there's this mountain in Capricorn. You guys are all about climbing mountains. So there might be some mountains of distance for those of you who are dealing with relationships, and that would be why you're feeling a little bit isolated. That could explain why there's the Nine of Swords here. You know, you're, you can't sleep because this person is not around you. They're, they live far away from you, but there's this connection. The Lovers is not only a Gemini. It's a, a, a twin flame. This looks a lot like your Devil card. So there could be someone in your life who... It's kind of like, you know, the hawk or um, the beauty and the beast. Like, those are two examples of how something that's usually scary, um, someone is taming that energy and loving that energy. So someone could really be bringing out the positive in you. It, you guys could be really developing feelings for someone who, who makes you feel brighter and lighter. Because this is the devil card, except for it's a more positive um, version of it, you know. There's no chains, there's no demon, there's no darkness. It's a connection, not an attachment. So some of you guys are having anxiety about relationships or just feeling... So this is like a single energy. Like some of you guys are... Relationships are very isolated from you. So some of you guys are single and that could be causing mental anxiety. Um, others of you, again, you're just dealing with someone who's at a distance. Could be Virgo, could be Gemini. Um, some of you guys are in relationships, but you're really isolating yourself from your partner right now. Be, you're distancing yourself. So this might not be a physical distance. This could be a mental distance. This could be an emotional distance that some of you guys are, are having with your partners. And that might be it's because you're having a lot of mental anxiety. And underneath the lover's card, we have the nine of cups. So there is some kind of wish for a lover at a distance in some way. Um, and we also have the Page of Pentacles. So you're wanting a new, a new physical start. Maybe you're wanting to kind of gamble with this person, because the Page of Pentacles to me is a fool. He's a he's an he's an Earth sign fool. Okay, so maybe some of you guys feel like you are a fool for this person. You know, you know how Capricorn can get like that when they feel like they've been a fool for a person. You know, you guys are so serious, and you know how serious karma is. So you're like, why? Like, why did I invest my time in that person? I should have just known, you know, that, but you're hanging on to them. You know, this has something to do with your foundation. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But let's, let's get the rest of this message. Okay, so we have the High Priestess coming out. This is a very secretive, knowledgeable energy. So, um, I am going to say here that there could be some nightmares. Because the High Priestess, she... She wanders um, in the subconscious realms, okay? And um, so you, you guys might be having some of your nightmares or any of your intense dreams that you have in November could have spiritual meaning, okay? Because the High Priestess, she's a spiritual um, being, you know? She knows, she has this moon here, okay? The moon is actually in Capricorn right now as I'm talking to you guys. Um, so yeah, there's there's an in, something maybe something that you know intuitively has got you up late at night. Like this is an, in, an intuition, Pisces, Cancer energy. But I think this is just telling me that Capricorn has mental anxiety this month over something that they're able to intuitively feel. Maybe it has to do with some kind of secret. Maybe because the High Priestess is a secret energy. 
So either maybe you know someone else is keeping a secret from you and that's causing mental anxiety. Maybe there's a secret that came out that's causing mental anxiety, whether it's your secret or a secret that you know about someone else or someone told you a secret. Either way, there's some secret, um, something that's a secret, something that you know intuitively um, that is linked to mental anxiety. And it could have something to do with this eight of pentacles maybe it's something you know about a job or you know maybe while someone this is my while you were away at work card now some of these cards came up for scorpio so you could be dealing with a scorpio but this was a while you were away at work so while you were away at work you know there was some kind of secret there was some kind of mental anxiety here okay in november while somebody with this could be you going away and working capricorn and then you know some kind of secret while you were away at work, something happened, or vice versa. But this is, to me, this is someone who's away from home, who's working. So some of you may have to travel for work, but Capricorn, you know, I have a lot of Capricorn friends, and they're all so, like a lot, they're all waste, like they're like neck deep in responsibility. This south node is going to even add more responsibility to Capricorn. Okay, so there's some kind of work here. Now, let's see what's behind this. The temperance so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or maybe this is just about trying new things new jobs trying new things to make money um, and patience you know having the patience to continue working for something now this is the world the world so this is Saturn Capricorn Saturn is coming up here there's some kind of completion because the world is a cycle that's completed Okay, and behind that is the Eight of Wands. So there could be some kind of message coming in fast, very fast, and, and it's going to complete some things. Okay, it's all about Saturn. Saturn is in Capricorn. It could have to do with an Aquarius or a Scorpio or a Taurus or a Leo for some of you or a Sagittarius. Okay, but if it's not, then this is about being patient for things to complete, being patient for this cycle to complete. You know, and just continuing to focus on your work, continuing to focus on your finances and your physical labor. Maybe that anxiety is coming from a cycle that you know is completing. Let's keep on going for you though, Capricorn, and see how all these messages tie in to each other. So this is for Capricorn for November 2018. November 2018. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cardinal Earth Energy, 10th house. What do we have for the 10th house of Capricorn? Cardinal. Okay, we have the Six of Wands coming out. So, victory. Okay, so I, I see some silent victories, Capricorn, in November. Okay, you may start off November, or there may be periods of time in November where you are... Having some trouble sleeping, having some nightmares, some dark thoughts. I've definitely been going through that. But there is something here. It's like you're 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 victorious in a silent way. Like you guys might be hiding some kind of victory this month or, or some kind of secret victory. But this card is talking about being publicly acknowledged. So not only are you winning, but you're winning in on a, on a stage where people can see, or there's this big parade, like it's like it's the difference between making a basket in basketball and no one seeing it and then making that last shot that wins the whole game and everyone's like, oh my god, yeah. So yeah, it's interesting that there's a a public victory here. We'll see how it ties in, but we do have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this might be a victory when it comes to a home environment. And look, there's a Sagittarius um, underneath this card again. So you could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius in a relationship, or maybe you have Sagittarius children, or uh, someone Sagittarius, like you're the mother or father of your children. There's a Sagittarius here, though. So this is also about being patient. Being patient for this Ten of Cups energy that you want. Being patient for something to complete, Capricorn. You know how you guys are about completions. If something, like, that's because Saturn has rings around it. Okay, and Saturn controls what goes around, comes around. Well, what goes around can't come around if the cycle has not been completed. So you guys have a lot of anxiety when it comes to things that aren't done. Because Saturn is like, get it done, get it done. Saturn doesn't leave anything not completed. So you guys have that energy because Saturn rules you and because Saturn is in your sign, making you guys responsible and 
you know, giving you orders and everything needs to be done on time and everything like that. So this could be time anxiety or anxiety that you're keeping a secret because of some kind of victory. And it's about, you know, a relationship or a home environment or something. This is another completion, the Ten of Cups. So this is something <clears throat> that has completed at an emotional level, maybe with a Sagittarius or maybe the need to stay patient for that. <laughs> In that world card again. So staying patient for cycles to complete Capricorn. Because oh boy. There is a cycle that is about to complete. This is like staying patient. This is such a Capricorn energy. This is patient karma. Saturn talks about patience and karma. You know. Karma is patient. She will wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Until the perfect time to give that person their karma. So karma is asking you guys to stay patient because there's just cycles that are almost complete, but not yet. So divine timing, you know, you guys are the Lord, the father time energy. So time and patience and karma, they're all coming together, staying patient with these cycles, especially for things to emotionally complete. I mean, we have a 10 here. Okay. That's staying patient for things to complete. Maybe dealing with a Sagittarius. Or a Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. So, ooh, we had the hanged man just pop out. So let's see here. Oh. So this could very well be the, la the end of your reading. I hate when this happens, but I'm just going to go with it. <clears throat> we have the hanged man coming out. The five of wands, the three of pentacles, the empress, and the... The Hangman, the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So we do have some conflicts here, but we're going to put the Hangman here. We're going to put the Empress here, the Three of Pentacles, and then we have these two Fives. The bottom of your deck, so the Empress goes there, the Three of Pentacles goes there. I'm just going to go ahead and trust that that was the end of your reading, because it was, it was exactly the amount of cards I needed. Bottom of your deck is the Seven of Cups. Um, some confusion, maybe a lot of options. This is another dream card and another card that Scorpio got. So you could definitely just be having a lot of, you could be dealing with a lot of subconscious anxiety over something that you just know. I mean, I think a lot of you guys are doing some spiritual traveling, you know, because we've got a lot of dream energies here, nightmares. Okay, so keep keep in mind that there's any, any nightmares or any dreams that you've been having in November. They probably mean something. So this anxiety, this this mental anxiety here that starts off your reading could be wrapped around an Aries. It could be wrapped around a Taurus or a Libra. It could even have to do with some kind of children energy. Somebody's pregnant. Maybe someone's trying to get pregnant and can't. Um, the Empress is a very fertile energy. Now this is also Venus energy. So Venus is currently in Libra. Okay, and that is your 10th house. So there could be some career abundance that is really got you guys having anxiety over like your own abundance. You know, especially if you have a baby or if you have any children, you could just have mental anxiety because of this pregnancy, because of this baby, okay? Because of, um, you know, it's just, I feel anxiety, mother anxiety, like a mother's intuition and a mother's anxiety. This is a, a mother who's having a lot of anxiety. So maybe your mother, Capric, maybe you have some anxiety over your mother, or maybe you are a mother, but there's some mother anxiety here, okay? If it's not a mother, because this is the mother of the tarot deck, so there's some mother energy coming up. Um, and if it's not your mother, then it's a pregnancy or abundance, because the empress is about giving birth to something. It's not always um, a baby. You could be trying to give birth to a new idea. Maybe, for some of you, there may be a secret that came out about someone who's pregnant, and um, that might be really causing somebody anxiety in the situation. Or maybe there was, if you guys had any dreams about being pregnant or any dreams about, um, you know, someone being pregnant, there could be some truth. You could be kind of having some visions. Capricorn is a very spiritual sign. Not many people uh, know and accept that. But Capricorns are very religious people. Very. You know, it would, doesn't isn't that kind of ironic how the, the sign that's ruled by the devil card in tarot is actually the most religious uh you know jesus if they say jesus was born on december 25th well he would be a capricorn wouldn't he even though i'm not sure how much i believe that day i'm not religious at all i've never read the bible but you know it's just interesting 
So there's some faith coming up here and religious and then Venus energy. We had Saturn and Venus and, um, you know, Venus would be relationships. So that seventh house of cancer with the north node there, you know, Capricorn, there, there might just be some relationship stuff coming up here because this is the mother of love. So a mother's love is coming up here and maybe some anxiety around that. Some kind of maybe if you had any dreams about your mother. Okay, I've been having a lot of dreams and they've been a lot of nightmares about my mom. And my mom has passed away, so you know, just keep in keep in keep in mind these energies can kind of go either way, but I just see some intuition, some kind of secret anxiety. I think you guys are keeping your anxiety a secret because you're a mom. Maybe it has to do with Venus going back into Scorpio. Maybe when Venus goes direct there like on the fifteenth. But we have some anxiety. And it has something to do with something you're trying to give birth to. It has something to do with abundance. And because of the three of pentacles right here, some of you could be dealing with um, work anxiety. Like maybe you've had to take some time off work because you're pregnant. Or, you know, maybe you're just feeling like maybe you're trying to work right after having a kid, you know, because you're a Capricorn. And um, so there's something here about work in a mother's energy or someone's working while they're pregnant but there could have been a secret about a third party that's pregnant now okay something like that Capricorn I'm just trying to talk about all these different energies that I'm seeing here because we do have the three of Pentacles so there could be a secret third party um, or there's maybe there's just some secrets going on with money or work because this is a teamwork these are three different people that are working together okay um, and maybe there's some conflict going on at work, okay? Maybe there's some conflict that starts with this third party. Now, third parties can be you, a person, and a child. It doesn't have to be a third party, like another person. It could be you, a, a kid, like you, your child, and work. That's a third party. All the third parties mean is that there's three factors going into this. So some of you guys, yeah, there's a third party now because you're pregnant or because you just gave birth. So now there's this third person. It's not just you and your partner anymore. It's you, your partner, and this child or something like that. But it's all about teamwork. Okay? But there is some conflict here when it comes to teamwork. Because I see that there's something that is, they're not working together very friendly. Like these three people are not really getting along. Because these, this is like, at any moment, someone is going to get hit in this situation. No one's hitting each other right now. But the situation is getting fiery and more fiery and more fiery. So there could be some conflict at work going on. Um, I do see this as work conflict. Like, people are not working together. Especially because we have the Five of Swords right after that. So there could definitely be some conflict that you're stuck in. So, yeah, anxiety that's being kept a secret. Maybe it's linked to a pregnancy. Maybe it's linked to a mother figure. So you guys are going to have to use your own intuition. I do see that the high, whenever the high priestess is in a reading, then that means that there's some secrets in November for you. Definitely some secrets in November. Maybe you're keeping some of your options a secret. But whatever it is, you know, I feel like you know what it is, Capricorn, because you have all these knowing, all this knowing energy, these nine thoughts. You have mental anxiety over something that's a secret. Could be a work secret. Could be a secret third party. Um, but it's something that you know, it could be, this could be you guys just knowing that some, like your job is no longer working out because there's a secret here when it comes to teamwork. So yeah, you know, it could definitely be you just knowing that you're going to have to quit your job soon or just knowing something financial because there's abundance here and then the three of pentacles. So you guys are really trying to work on your abundance, having a lot of money, you know, having stability. Because you know, Capricorn, you guys are all focused on the future. So you guys might be, it might be Monday, but y'all are y'all are thinking about um, next Thursday, already thinking about Christmas, even though it's November, you know? So you're just like wanting everything to be really stable. Yeah, because this could definitely be you having a kid and you, you know, you have a child and you want Christmas to be good for them. You want everything to be stable. So you want to work. And then we have the Six of Wands, which remember, that's a public victory. There is some, some kind of victory that you guys are waiting on in November, or you're focused on victory. You know, you're, you're focused on winning silently, 
which is really interesting message because this is not someone who wins in silence. Like, this is someone who wins in front of a whole crowd of people, you know? But I feel like you want your victories to be a little bit more silent this month for some reason. And you could be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces energy because we have the hanged man. So this is someone who feels stuck, okay? The hanged man, this is a sacrifice energy. So we've got something that you need to sacrifice. Maybe there's a victory that you sacrifice. Um, okay? <laughs> this is like a public sacrifice. That's really, really crazy. But, um, yeah, some of you guys sacrifice a victory in order to see something in a different way. Because the hangman is all about changing your perspective. So make sure you're seeing your victories in a, in a different way this month, Capricorn. Because... There's something about your victories that are, is enlightening you, even though you feel stuck. Okay? You could feel, maybe this is a Pisces energy, or maybe it has to do with Neptune, retrograde. Because this is the card of Neptune. We've got Venus and Neptune showing up for you, and we had Saturn. So those are important placements for you. But yeah, some of you guys are trying to see victory in a different way. Like, and to me... The reason why Capricorn would have to do that is because maybe you haven't been feeling like you're really successful lately. You know, the South Node is going to be kind of like that, guys. A lot of your anxieties, a lot of your secret anxieties are going to come to the forefront, okay? And that's going to have you second-guessing your own victories. Even though everyone's around you, like, look at Capricorn. You know, Capricorn is so successful. Capricorn is so victorious. But the whole time, you just feel stuck. And you're like, yeah, I'm learning a lot, like... But I feel stuck, and I have to sacrifice something. Maybe there's a sacrifice for your child. Because we have this, the, the hanged man, which is a sacrifice. Seeing something differently. Seeing this pregnancy differently, even though it's causing you anxiety. Like, sacrifice, making a sacrifice of victory for a mother or for a child. Maybe it's a work sacrifice. Um, some of you are stuck in conflict, though, because we have the hanged man and the five of swords. So there could be a, a Pisces that is causing conflict or something like that. Um, arguments. You know, we have two conflict cards here. All of the fives are kind of conflict in tarot. So not only are there arguments, but there's arguments and fighting and everyone has a different opinion. And this is like... Not wanting to fight anymore, you know. The Five of Swords is, is someone in the situation no longer wants to fight or they wouldn't have put their sword down. This person, though, he wants to fight. And this might have to do with a, th uh, a third party or it could be a heartbreak because he's got those three swords in his hand. So I don't know if there's a heartbroken Pisces or if there's just conflict um, with a third party. Maybe there's just too many people in the situation. Well, now, we do have the five and the six of wands. So I do think you guys sacrificed a victory. There was something that, there was an opportunity in November that you know you could have been very victorious. But you move from the six of wands to the five of wands. So sacrificing this victory could have caused some of you guys conflict. Okay? It could have definitely caused you guys some conflict at work. Maybe this was a promotion that you were really close to getting, but you're like, mm, that promotion, will, it'll, I'll have to work so much more if I, if I take that position. So I need to sacrifice all that money, everything that would be so, and it's because maybe there was a kid involved. Maybe it was because of your mother. But I do think that. I think some of you guys were, had to sacrifice some kind of victory at work because of conflict or because of arguments. There is some conflict with um, money or stability or a third party. I see third parties for some of you. Some of those third parties are just your children, though, or just the fathers and mothers of your children. Bottom of your deck is the Seven of Cups. So lots of options um, because of November. November is a, a month of maybe even confusion. Again, this is that dreamy energy. Okay, so if you've had any dreams in November, they could definitely have some kind of message there for you, even if they're nightmares. But the High Priestess is revealing secrets to you in your dreams, Capricorn, in November. And these are all different options that you have. Okay, so it's all about just deciding one of those cups for yourself, okay? And you are going to receive some kind of justice when it comes to this confusion because we have Libra showing up here again. So Libra energy showing up twice for you because the Empress could either be a Libra, a Taurus, or a Aries, but it could be any woman. This is a very feminine energy. 
okay very mother female energy venus the goddess of love okay and you know libra balancing out uh all these different options that you have or balancing out your emotional confusion and i feel like there's some kind of justice that comes in and brings in a new beginning okay because we have the ace of wands the ace of wands it could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo but this is like a new beginning of passion a new beginning of creativity manifestation um a new spark and this is the card that comes after the ten of wands and it just so happens that that's the card that you have right underneath this so these two cards here this is a heavy burden like you guys are dropping some kind of heavy burden in november in order to start completely new like these 10 that's overburdened with responsibility carrying so much weight and this is something that's over it's something that's a 10 right it's a completion so some kind of hard work has come remember this might be that thing that you're waiting to come full cycle like you cannot wait for these burdens to end so that you can start something new because capricorn knows the more and more they come close to an ending that's the closer they become to a beginning so this is the burden a burden that you're dropping in order to just I mean, do you want to carry all those little tin wands, or do you want to carry this big ace of wands? There's some kind of message coming in. Okay, your hard work, there's someone that's been watching you, Capricorn. You're, even if it's God, even if it's like the angels, like, your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Someone's been kind of spying on you energetically. There may even be some kind of message that comes in. Okay, and this it's going to start a new beginning. And I say that because we have the Page of Swords, so it could either it could be a fire sign or an air sign, but either way, there's a new passionate beginning after justice comes in, and balances out all these different options. You guys might have lots of options, um, and I, I see this coming more towards December time. Some of you may even have to go to, uh, you might have to get the law involved for some kind of reason, you know. Maybe some of you are involved in the law, you know that would make sense. Capricorn is all about authority, so some of you could be police officers or just someone in authority but this is karma okay and the bottom of your the deck is this card here so there's something about november that has something to do with options of confusion and again mental anxiety surrounded by some sort of secret uh there's some kind of secret mission or secret victory um, and then also be careful at the end of the month because there could be something that really conflicts. I mean, you have the five of wands and the five of swords, so it could really conflict. This is a lot of arguing and maybe even some physical fights, honestly. So just be very careful of the conflict. I, I see that some of you are just not going to want to fight anymore because you're putting down your sword. You're like, I'm done being stuck in this conflict. Um, you know, like I didn't. I didn't give up this victory. I didn't give up. I didn't sacrifice all of this just to fight with you. Now we do have pinnacles. We have so we have earth, we have fire, and we have air. You start with an with an air card and you end with an air card. So there might have been something, some kind of thought or some kind of communication that started November that was anxiety and now conflict. The only pinnacle card, which would be you, Capricorn, is the Three of Pinnacles. So as far as Earth, your foundation is really, really depending on uh, work right now. Now, we don't have any water cups. We don't have any cup cards here. So your emotions, you're very confused. This is the only water card that you have. So emotionally, you're feeling all kinds of different stuff. You have at least seven different feelings that you're experiencing in November. So you've got a different emotion for every day of the week. But that's that's um fortunately balancing out and it's 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 going to be fair cuz the justice card. Now, you could be confused over a Libra or some kind of marriage. Some of you are confused over a marriage or something. But yeah, that's the only cup card. So emotionally, you're feeling confused. Emotionally, you have a lot of options, Capricorn. Physically, financially, it's all about teamwork. Okay, it's all about work, it's all about your job. Mentally, there is some conflicts in November. There's anxiety and there's conflict. There's arguments. There's some narcissism going on in the situation. So communication looks a little bit anxiety-ridden and, and maybe conflicted. And But passionately, we do have these two wand cards. We have the six of wands and the five of wands. So you, there could be a victory that 
that you're conflicted about like do I take this victory because everyone's gonna see me do this so do I really want to be victorious for this certain thing or do I sacrifice this victory and, and it will cause a lot of conflict if you sacrifice this victory or maybe conflict is what led to the sacrifice of this victory because as far as fire energy you have the five and the six of wands so conflict and victory are going hand in hand for some reason which you know you guys are the mountain climbers so you will be victorious but it is it is not easy to climb a mountain so conflict and victory go hand in hand to capricorn you guys are probably like what's new okay conflict at work is coming up there could be but there is a secret victory that may cause maybe you guys just take a new job without giving it i don't know you guys take a new job or you have a secret job on the side or something like that secret third parties and anxiety so I'm going to let you guys kind of sift through these energies and, and see, you know, uh, what's going on. I do see, though, real quick here, that you guys may be seeing some kind of conflict in a different way. As far as signs, I mean, you could be dealing with any sign. Um, you know, I see Aries, Taurus, Libra. I seen Virgo at the beginning and, and Sagittarius for sure, Pisces, Cancer. But guys, it can be any sign. To me, this reading isn't about the people around you, Capricorn. I mean, it is here. This is definitely the people around you that you work with, your co-workers or your family members that you live with. But to me, this is about you. I see you here and you here and you here. and So this is all you. Seeing something differently, sacrificing certain things right now. Um, knowing certain things, Capricorn, that you're not really speaking about. And, you know, even the Empress could be you, especially if you're a mother. And then you're somewhere in this picture, too. You're somewhere working together hard. And you're somewhere in this conflict, too. There, in this tarot card, there, you are somewhere in this mix as well. So that it could be just, you know, sifting through the confusion of where you are in all this, Capricorn. Trusting what you know about this victory and what you need to sacrifice to give birth to something to continue working on it even if it caused I do see some conflict at the end of the month it might be why there's there's so much confusion there but yeah I, um this is what I have for you guys and I'm gonna let you guys um you know the high priestess is here which is telling me that you already know what this means to you but you know feel free to comment below any questions you have or feedback I'd love to know how this related to you guys and resonated and um, other than that, guys, I will talk to you next month in December when it's your guys' birthday. So, alright, talk to you soon.